Now that we're finding ourselves in the fourth quarter of this year, it's time to start wrapping up the year on a high note. And I'm here to guide you through the essential steps that you should be taking in this last quarter. If you're anything like me, these last three months of the year will go by so quickly. And before you know it, January is here, the holidays are over, and it's back to business as usual again. I try really hard to be as prepared as I possibly can between both my business and my personal life during this busy time of the year, which is why I'm covering what you should be doing in this fourth quarter early so that you can easily prepare for the end of the year as well. If you want to go into the holiday season with less stress and overwhelm this year, being prepared in your business will be extremely important. Being proactive will allow you to spend that extra time with your family and friends without feeling guilty about not working in your business. In today's podcast episode, I'm walking you through some of the main items that you should be thinking about during this last quarter of the year. I'm helping you be proactive and stay on track so that you're able to not only close out your business this year with less stress, but you'll be able to enjoy your holidays and not be stuck in the office crunching numbers. Whether you're starting a business or side hustle, you're a self-employed individual, a solopreneur, entrepreneur, mompreneur, freelancer, business owner, bookkeeper, or virtual assistant. Let's make this the year that you are proactive in this fourth quarter so that you can truly integrate balance between your business and being at home with your family and friends this holiday season. If you're a business owner who wants to take your business to the next level, whether you're starting a business, you're building your business, or you're serious about growing your business, I want to invite you to work with me so that you can meet your goals in the most accelerated, streamlined, and efficient way possible. That also aligns with your life and the impact that you want to make with your business. As a CPA, business strategist, and coach, I've created two options for you to choose from when you work with me. The first is my Mastering Your Small Business Finances Profit Lab. This is a group program where we have live weekly business meetings and coaching sessions to answer your questions so that you can generate revenues and increase the profit in your business. You can learn more about the Profit Lab by going to financialadventure.com profit. Or, if you like the idea of working with me on a more private, one-on-one basis, you can schedule a free consultation session where we'll go over where you currently are in your business and where you'd like to see yourself and your business in the future. During this session, we'll begin to map out the steps you need to take to achieve your goals. I'm helping my clients start their businesses, become more profitable, set strategies to move their business forward, and take control of their business and their finances while allowing them the balance and ability to enjoy their personal lives by utilizing business strategy, coaching, mentorship, and support. You can schedule your session today by going to financialadventure.com and clicking on the Work With Me button. By taking action in your business, you'll achieve your goals. By keeping everything simple, you'll avoid confusion and overwhelm. You'll understand your business finances, your next steps, and you'll follow through with the vision that you have for your business. My goal is to help you dream big, follow your heart, and love what you do. You're listening to the Mastering Your Small Business Finances podcast, where we get straight to the point on topics that ultimately affect your bottom line. That's right, as an entrepreneur with a small business, money management, growth, marketing, they all affect your bottom line. I'm your host, Chris Ponick. I'm a certified public accountant, and I've been helping small business owners like you navigate and easily understand these complicated topics for over 25 years. I'm a wife, a mom, a grandmother, and a small business owner myself, so I know your time is valuable. In my free time, I make the best sugar cookies and have mastered an amazing chocolate chip cookie recipe. And that's not just my opinion. You're in the right place. I promise your time will be well spent here. 
Each week, you'll gain confidence and clarity while making a successful impact on your business and grow your bottom line. Get comfy, grab a cookie, and let's get straight to the point with this week's episode. Welcome back and welcome to the fourth quarter. Fall is here and even though we've seen some record-breaking high temperatures where I live, it makes it hard to believe it's October already. I often see many business owners take one or two positions in this last quarter of the year. Some business owners decide in the fourth quarter that their business is just going to be what it is and however the business ends the year will be just fine. But Others look at the fourth quarter much like a race. When you're in a race and you want to win, you give it your all at the end. You push hard and you try your best to reach your goal or cut time depending on the type of race that you're in. This is the kind of business owner I hope that you are. And I'm here to support you and make sure that your fourth quarter goes exactly as you anticipated. For this to happen though, you need to be prepared. And today, I'm providing assistance and guidance to help you end your fourth quarter in the best position you can. To start, you need to review your goals. I want you to remember the goals that you set way back in January, or maybe you set them even earlier. It's time for you to revisit them and see exactly where you are now compared to where you thought you were going to be. I recommend you do this for both your business and your personal life. As a business owner myself, I know how intertwined your business and your personal life can get, and we need to make sure that we're integrating balance between both. When you look over your goals for your business, were they focused on sales, customers, or profit? Or were they something totally different, like making sure that you set up your business in a way that you could spend more time with your family and friends? No matter what your goals were, take a look at them and see which goals you've met. Give yourself credit for how well you did on any of the goals that you met. And if there's any goals that you set that you're still aiming to reach and you're still working on, be serious about meeting them in this last quarter of the year. Write down the steps that you need to take to reach these goals and be intentional about blocking off the time that you'll need so that you can stay laser-focused and achieve your goals within the next few months. If you know that there's going to be an obstacle in the way, point it out and find a way to get through it. I want you to finish the year out strong. Next, start creating your budget for your business for the next year and have a strategic plan in place for what you want the future of your business to look like. This means that you'll need to set aside time to have a productive strategy session. Invite individuals who will be able to help you with your strategy. And don't forget to work on your marketing budget as well. Budgeting is one area that many of my clients ask for help with, and I do truly enjoy holding them accountable as well as setting up the processes so that it can be done smoothly. Having all of these pieces in place prior to the start of the new year will help ensure that you are on track for another remarkable year. You can also be proactive and start planning now for any cross-training that you might need to do if you have employees so that you have all of your holiday coverage taken care of. This is something that you should be thinking about even if you're a solopreneur and you're the only one running the show. Think about how you want your business to run over the holidays. Make sure that you have plans in place and don't forget to block off your personal time for celebrating with your family and friends. Now is also the time to review any business licenses and permits and ensure that they're all up to date or make sure that you're renewing them if necessary. This will include any renewals with your Secretary of State as well as making sure that any corporate compliance has been fulfilled if your business is a corporation. And you know I'm going to talk about your finances. I want you to make this the year that you have your bookkeeping and financials up to date so that you can begin the new year without feeling overwhelmed 
and behind. So I'm going to ask you, are all of your income and expenses recorded for the year so far? Have you reconciled all of your accounts? If you have inventory, plan for a physical inventory and be prepared to have your year-end inventory numbers. Enter all of your invoices for the remainder of the year. Review your accounts receivable and follow up on any past due amounts. Look into your accounts payable and make sure that you're paying your vendors on time. Verify any employee and contractor information by obtaining updated W-4 and W-9 forms if needed. If you have employees, now is the time to decide if you need to make any changes with your payroll processing procedures so that you're all set and ready to go at the beginning of the year. If you need to track your mileage, make sure that you've been recording this and that you're ready to capture your year-end mileage. If you plan on making any changes to your pricing in your business, you can review your current pricing structure and be ready for any changes for the new year. Most importantly, review your bookkeeping procedures. You want to be able to have reliable information in the new year, and if the processes that you currently have are not satisfying these needs, it might be time to adjust how your bookkeeping and finances are being done. These are all things that my clients and I go over at the end of each year so that they're not only ready to file their tax return on time, but they no longer feel stressed out or dread all of the work that they need to do in the new year to simply have their tax return prepared. Once you have your finances in order, take some time to compare how your finances look this year compared to last year. Are there any areas that you need to concentrate on? If you don't understand your financials or they're not in order, now is the time to schedule some time to meet with your bookkeeper, your accountant, or tax preparer. By meeting with them early, you can also take advantage of any additional deductions that will benefit you in this tax year. This is also an excellent time to review any estimated taxes and be sure you're submitting any payments if needed. I know this time of the year brings up a lot of questions for business owners, and I know how helpful it can be to have someone guide you along the way to answer your questions and help hold you accountable. Maintaining your bookkeeping and financial data is important so that you can make smart and timely decisions. I understand how frustrating it can be when you're trying to do your bookkeeping and you get stuck because you have a question and you don't know how to find the answer. Or maybe you feel like you need someone who can answer your questions so that you can keep moving forward. I also understand how easy it is to put your bookkeeping as a low priority, and I see it done often. So if this is you, first of all, know that you're not alone. It may be because you're unsure of how to do it or where to get started. Or it may be because you don't have the time or the resources to get it done. If you need help managing any of the topics that I covered in today's podcast, or being held accountable so that you can be more efficient and reach the goals that you set for yourself and your business, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to help you. You can schedule a free consultation or sign up for a coaching session today. As a certified public accountant and certified life coach, I can help alleviate the stress that you may be feeling when it comes to your business, your career, or your personal life. I'm here to guide you through the financial aspects of your business and help you focus on the steps that you need to follow to reach the success that you want to achieve in your business and stay committed so that you can continue to keep pushing forward. I'm here to help you with both your business and your personal life so that you can relieve the stress, anxiety, or overwhelm that you're currently feeling. Having an accountant and certified life coach like me can provide you with valuable insights and ideas to help you simplify your business, which enables you to go back to enjoying your business like you thought you would when you very first started it. I work with business owners and accountants to create the actionable steps they need to take to ultimately achieve their goals while getting relief from the stress and overwhelm that they feel 
from the pressure of owning a business, deadlines, and the workload that they face every day. If you're struggling with this as well and would like some help developing a solution, help strengthen and maintain your emotional health, increase your well-being, create a more positive, happy, and joyful life, set and achieve your goals, and manage your relationships, I'd love for you to join me in my Balanced Life Coaching Program so that you can live a more purposeful life. Each week we meet privately one-on-one and you get to bring whatever is on your mind on any given week. It could be your highest priority that you want to work on, whatever you want more of in your life, or if there's something that's weighing on you heavily that you need coaching on, and we'll work through it together. Having a certified life coach like me helping you through all of this allows you to feel so seen and cared for. And the results are amazing. Everyone benefits when they work with a certified life coach. After every call, You feel energized, and you know exactly what to do for the week to come, and relief knowing that we'll meet again the next week to go over anything that comes up after the call. You'll gain self-awareness while you take each step towards your goals. The investment in this program is an easy yes for you. I've set this program up in the most supportive way. If you're ready to join the Balance Life Coaching Program, you can go to financialadventure.com and click on the Work With Me button. You'll see the link to join as well as additional information about the program. Sign up now. There are limited spots available for this program due to the one-on-one aspect, and it does sell out. If the payment link is gone, you can get on my wait list to join the program when additional spots are available. I help people get results and live a more joyful life. I coach everybody on everything. Everyone has something they want in their lives, and I help them get it. I know this is something that you've been waiting for. I've been asked by many of my listeners to create this exact program. The faster you get access to the program, the quicker you'll see the possibilities that are available to you. And I also have a risk-free guarantee. I believe so strongly that everyone benefits from coaching that when you sign up today, if for any reason you're not satisfied with your first session, you can send us an email and we'll refund you immediately. Are you ready to enjoy your life now? Why would you want to wait? Make this investment for yourself. Take the journey with me. Make it happen for yourself. Ask yourself, Why do you need this program in your life right now? Are you ready to make bigger, bolder, and stronger life goals? I'm looking forward to meeting with you soon and digging deeper to see where you currently are in your business or your career and to start creating actionable steps so that you can reach your vision and your goals for your future, not only in your business or career, but also in your personal life. I'm ready to work with you, see all of your successes, and watch you thrive in your business or career while creating your best work-life balance. I'll post links to this and other valuable resources for business owners and accountants where you're listening to this podcast. And you know I'm going to ask, what's at least one thing that you'll take away from this episode? that will help your business succeed and grow your bottom line. If you need some accountability, join our private Facebook community and post your action item. We'd love to support you. Thanks for taking the time to tune into this episode of Mastering Your Small Business Finances. If you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed creating it for you, I'd love for you to give it a five-star rating and subscribe to the show so you never miss an episode. Visit financialadventure.com for the show notes, links from this episode, and while you're there, leave a comment if you have a topic you're interested in learning more about that affects your bottom line. If you're looking for a community where you can ask questions and get feedback about your small business, join my private Facebook group. You can find the links to this group and more on financialadventure.com. 
And remember, any financial information shared on this podcast is not to be considered professional, financial, or tax advice and should not be solely relied upon. Please consult your CPA or tax advisor for an opinion on your specific circumstances. I'm looking forward to having you tune in next time. Until then, dream big, follow your heart, and love what you do. Thank you.